idea, the essence, the plot, something that is not in most of the songs around us. About the pace one of the most important components, tempo variations can make a song unique or completely destroy all potential. Unlike tonality, changing the rhythm can completely change the sound. At some BPM values, the parties will have to be completely rewritten. The right pace is cool, the floating pace is cool, the variation over time is cool. Any improvisation will emphasize originality if it sounds in the subject. Beyond a Lingate pace, 130 BPM, this will allow you to dynamically disperse the composition and maintain the emotional component to the very end. In principle, this is not very far from the standard 120 BPM, so the listener will be easier to perceive the motive and be able to remember it. This is an interesting memory feature. Old songs that we heard in childhood did not sound at the original pace in our heads. When you listen to them again, they seem to be faster or slower. About structure, you have to seriously work and forget about the verses and choruses. Everything that is normal for pop music is not useful here. To make the song interesting you need to skillfully manipulate its parts, somewhere to add something, and somewhere to start a replay of the last batch. I love to make every part of the song unique. In terms of parts, sound, arrangement, effects. But since the lesson is on the theme of composition, we will consider only the parties and their proportions in each part. It is important not just to copy parts of a song, but to do it is appropriate. At the same time, if one element of the song sounds good for a long time, you do not need to change it. After listening to the song several times, you can notice which places sound boring. A small life hack, run it back to front. This is not about samples, but about moving the structural parts of the composition in the reverse order. The more often and more originally the composition is heard, the easier it is to find dubious places in it.